Hello guys, this is Alex again. Um, I got a quick video on how to find out a misfire on the Mini Cooper. This one's 1.6, 2011, petrol. Um, start with, this is the diagnostic socket plug in there. For someone who don't, doesn't know that. Uh, I'm using G-Scan to find the problem. It's a very good tool. Well, it was misfiring, I've fixed it now. But I just want to show you a quick guy how to find the fault. The car is running. It not always will come up with the engine light. But anyway, in this case, what I've done was you go into diagnostics. This is G-Scan 2, guys. Find Mini in there. Go into Coupe. This one was 2011, so that's that. Drive and digital motor electronics so press ok now obviously because it got bad and the engine light came on when I went to read the faulty memory it came out with number 4 misfire, it's nice all clean but sometimes it's not as bad and it doesn't actually show up on the engine light so what you need to do is get diagnostic scan and check for misfire detection or just all data so I'm checking misfire detection it'll come up with the four cylinders and in my case number four it had six so it was misfiring and the knock sensor detects it what you do to find out what the problem is actually don't start changing plugs or whatever just first thing is just to stop the car I mean for some people probably better disconnect the battery and then unplug and remove the obviously number four um, coil, the single coil, so remove number four and swap it with number three. Then plug everything back in, connect it, start the car up, run it, if it's still misfiring, because sometimes it can be just a connection, you unplug and plug it back in, it'll be fine. But anyway, if it's still misfiring, go back into there and check if it swapped from number four to number three because then it is definitely a coil they're not that expensive because it's quite a common problem on them so get a coil and that will sort your problem out just be careful guys it's high voltage so do disconnect the battery when you're changing it it's quite simple there's a clip i can show you the video how to change them if you want if you comment below i will make a video how to change your coil it's quite an easy job and I got no problem at all of doing it for you, just to help you out guys. So yeah, that was a quick guide to do it. Follow me guys on on YouTube, comment below, like the videos. I will be doing more of this stuff if you appreciate it, it will be nice. So yeah, thank you very much for your time guys, bye.